Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Safety Saturday. My name is Bert. I'm a trainer with CRST, Flatbed Solutions. Today I want to touch base with you real quick on the proper way to hook up a four inch synthetic web or a strap to a flatbed trailer. We're also gonna look at a couple of different ways drivers hook these up that are incorrect, just to make sure that you do understand why and what the issue with those are. First, sometimes drivers are gonna take this four inch strap and they're gonna bring it outside of the rub rail and attach it underneath the trailer. The next way you'll see it is drivers will take that strap, they'll turn it upside down, bring that hook back underneath the rub rail, and again, attach it with the hook on the outside. We also see some drivers that will bring this outside of the rub rail, bring it back through the rub rail, and tighten it down. What, one of the other options we see that is incorrect is taking this strap, and we'll have it running all the way down around this rub rail, and back into it, and tighten it down. Now all of these are actually incorrect, and the reason being is because this rub rail is designed to be in an accident. In the event your trailer is struck by something from the side, it is designed to hit the rub rail and protect the tie downs from being damaged. The problem with all four of these is you can see there's at least one part of this tie down that is out or outside of the rub rail. So in the event you have an accident, you have a greater risk of damaging these tie downs and having your cargo come loose. The proper way to connect these uh, flat hooks is take that flat hook, drop it straight down between the side rail and the rub rail of the trailer, and attach it to the lip on the bottom of the side rail. Okay? The other thing to remember is most of these rub rails are not rated for securement. Some of them are, but you're only supposed to use that rub rail if there is no other possible way to tighten your load. Thanks again for watching, guys. If you have any suggestions or any comments, please give us a call at the safety department. We look forward to hearing from you.